Welcome back to the Dudes Variety Show. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to raid because I am out of some key ingredients. Let's see if we can find somebody. This looks pretty good. Defense is medium. Development's pretty good. Let's check this out. Where's my line in? I'm concerned. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right. Here we go. Wow, this is a giant complex. It's interesting. I have a sort of similar outer shell like this, and it tends to dissuade people because they don't want to fight through a maze and try and figure out where to go, but not me. Got a spring trap here, but that's no big deal, and so far, no... No monsters, but also no chests. This is starting to become concerning. Oh, uh, wait, I see him. I see the chest. Hmm. This is interesting. I still don't see... Where the defensive aspects come in here. So far, a bit easier than I was expecting. This looks like the main complex. I'm going to open it all up just so I can try to make a determination which chests are best. It's really just a guess most of the times, but sometimes the way they array their chest kind of gives away what's in what chest. Through screwing around. Oh, lightning sounds really good. Yeah, I don't know. This is tough. Hmm. I'm sick of that too. Goodbye, crossbow trap. I think it's going to be in here. I'm going to take a large and a small chest. You. Transfer that over to the horse, because if you have a horse, you can carry two chests when raiding. And... You. All right, it's going to be... Probably a day before I can open these, so I'll definitely come back and let you know what I got here. It was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Again, people are often dissuaded just because they have to go through a maze. Uh, 
sometimes you assume that someone has a barrier at the end of the maze and you just give up, but I don't. And I got two chests, so we'll see what we got. That's all from